Good morning everybody, today we will be treating ourselves to some steak and eggs. Gatsby, I'm gonna make that for you. Does it sound good? We're also gonna make some hash browns as well. So we got our potato here. So I've never made hash browns before, but it seems pretty easy. I'm gonna peel it. Good boy, thank you. I already scrubbed the potato clean. We have our peeled potato here. So we just go like this. We're making hash browns, Gatsby. This is gonna be the first time you have it. There it is. That should be enough for both of us. The next step is gonna happen in the kitchen because I gotta rinse these out. So we're gonna place it all on a cheesecloth. Then we wanna rinse this underwater until it gets clear. Running clear. Next we're gonna squeeze out the water as much as we can. So now I'm just gonna let it dry some. For the human one, we're gonna add some garlic powder on top, onion powder, some salt. I'm just gonna spread the oil around. This is Gatsby's here. When you make hash browns, it says you want to spread it out, and then we leave it for two, two minutes. Gatsby, we're cooking food, yeah? We're making hash browns right now. There we go. Okay, and then after this, Gatsby, we got some steak and we got some eggs for you. Yeah, that's gonna be yummy. Gatsby's like, my favorite part is when I get to eat the food. I'm just gonna push this stuff to the side now. We bought a breakfast steak over here, so it's pretty thinly sliced. Gonna butter it. Get on top. There we go. So Gatsby's gonna get this small piece over here. The steak should be done. I don't want to overcook that, so I'm going to take them off. Gatsby, what do you think? The eggs are cooking. You ready to eat soon? Yeah, that's Italian parsley. Gatsby, I think we're done. The food is done. We're ready to eat. Oh, he's like, what? Hey, there we go. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh, I have Gatsby's over here. Mini version. Okay, here it goes. Steak and eggs. Hash browns. Crispy. Mmm, that's good. Mmm, they're crispy too. Gatsby, get off the table. Come on. Hey. Mm. It's so crispy. It's so good. Perfect way to start the day. Shall we start the vlog, Gatsby? Child, baby Corgi. Gatsby, use the force. He's using the force. He's using the force. Oh, the force must be strong with this one. Hello everybody, welcome to today's vlog. I thought we would start off by showing you guys the project that I've been working on for the past two months. I'm so excited. I just, just received um, kind of like a sample of it and I thought I would share it with you guys because I've been wanting this for so long and I decided I'm just gonna make my own. What is it? <gasps> you see? They're jigsaw puzzles. Oh my gosh, you have your own jigsaw puzzle of yourself. So they are 1,000 piece puzzles. <gasps> They're really great stress relievers and you can do them while you listen to music. You can do them with your family or friends. We have two puzzles here, I gotta check them out. These are nice and thick cardboard pieces. It also comes with a poster of what the final product will look like. And keep in mind the poster is smaller than the completed puzzle. A thousand pieces makes a big puzzle. This is what the first puzzle looks like. It's the selfie picture with Gatsby, his girlfriend Tenby, and his best friend Jack. I did some research on what would make a good puzzle 
And I chose this picture because it really does have like really good color separation. Um, and there's not too much like empty space, which would make it really difficult. And for those of you who want an even bigger challenge, ta -da! <laughs> this picture makes me so happy. This one will be quite a challenge, I think, because look at all the different fruit that we have here. You're gonna have to figure out where everything goes. There are little hints like the star fruit, I think, and this orange. I watched a lot of puzzle videos, and a lot of people suggest that, um, especially if you don't have a large apartment or somewhere where you can devote the space to it, that you get like a foam core board if you need to use the table later on. I just happen to have a foam core board. We're gonna try this one first. This is a lot. So the first thing we do is we flip over all the pieces and try to find all the edge pieces. Also we can separate and organize the pieces by color. Dark pieces, which are probably Jack, can go over there. I think Jack's one of the only things that are dark. That took me 37 minutes to sort out everything. <laughs> have some red stuff. I think that's gonna be for these umbrellas. Well, I got the border done now, <laughs> for the most part. There's some pieces that I'm missing, which I'm thinking I just didn't find them correctly. But yeah, that's how big the puzzle is. It's pretty large. How long does that take me? An hour and a half. I just found it. I found all the empty pieces, the remaining pieces for the, <laughs> the edges. I just went through all of that. How long did that take? 26 more minutes to find those edge pieces. So this only took me two hours to do. <laughs> This goes here. It does, yes. Wait, when can I get this puzzle? I want it. Right now I'm anticipating to launch the puzzle um, sometime near the end of this month, so in a few weeks. Wait, you have some puzzles in there. I actually, they shipped me 20 puzzles all together, so I do have a few extras, and they might show up for people who are subscribed to the Corgi on Fleek newsletter. Hmm, go to corgionfleek.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and subscribe to the newsletter, and maybe you'll get a notification to buy one of those 20 puzzles early. Hmm, okay. It's time for a new ukulele song. I spent all last night recording the chords for this song. It is a tough one. <laughs> And now it's time for this week's Corgi Crunch. He's like, no celery today. Are you sure? Gatsby, you don't want celery? He's like, not today, celery, not today. And that was the Corgi Crunch. <laughs> I just fed the aquarium. Look at all the, they're like, oh my gosh, it's snowing food. We gotta eat it all up. Yes, look at all that food in the tank. They're all tiny little eggs. So today is leg day. I've seen some really, really good progress and I think the main role is just to hit them really hard and consistently. So we're gonna do that. Let's get started. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Hey Gatsby. Hey, we gotta exercise you too, you know? 
The parks are back open today. In the Bay Area, the parks are back open. We still have to practice social distancing. Not dog parks, but the actual park field is open. So I think we will go after I can catch my breath. Right, Gatsby? I could feel it in my bones. There was something going on. That shade of doubt hanging around. That old. When I think about the way we used to be. When I think about the things you took from me. I know that I am so. So we're back. Come on, Gatsby. Come on. Welcome home. I hope Gatsby enjoyed his first time back at the park. Must have been hard for corgis staying indoors these past few months. Make sure to wash him down now that you're back. Okay. I'll turn on the air conditioner. It's been a hot day. Okay. Might be shaken for nothing. Just a lesson that I've learned. And so it goes. He's happy. <laughs> He's like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I got to go to the park. So for dinner today, I'm just making what I've been making for like the whole week, which is super delicious air fried chicken. I'm just preheating my air fryer. All you do is you just take the chicken, tenderize it with the mallet thing, and then you just put it inside of a bowl. I just kind of like sprinkle salt over it and mix it up. And then that's it. And then you have to leave it brine for at least an hour. You can do it for like 24 hours. I just brine quite a few at a time and then just fry what I need for the day. You want to dry it off. It doesn't taste like sweet chili at all. I don't know why they call it that. Also, it does not smell good and I did not think it would taste good at all. But then um, I placed it on chicken and then it tastes so good. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil on both. You kind of want to use a lot, that's the thing, because we're only seasoning it with this. Season. And then we just flip it over and do the same thing. So there's like a little grate on the bottom, so the air can circulate through and cook the bottom as well as the top really fast. And that's one of the main benefits. Everyone's like, why is everyone using an air fryer? I use it because it cooks everything so fast and it's so convenient. And just set it to 380 for 14 minutes. Then we flip the chicken in seven minutes, so halfway through. He's like, I like chicken. Ta-da! That looks pretty good. It's like super, super juicy and tender, which is nice. Brining it in salt water makes it so good. A lot of people are asking me about the air fryer. I bought mine from Costco. You can just get any air fryer, I think. I put the one that I got from Costco um, on that Amazon list as well, so you can check that out in the description below. But yeah, I'm gonna finish eating this and continue on with the day. I know I said don't send me anything, but I didn't realize that someone actually had sent something to me and I didn't check my mailbox, so we're gonna open it. This is from Haley from Phoenix, Arizona. Dog treats? Gets me a Pokemon card here. <laughs> Be cute, steal sandwich. If you remember Gatsby stole the sandwich from somebody. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Thank you so much, Haley. That's awesome. I thought I would just give you an update on the puzzle. Oh, you guys, I spent another hour and a half on the puzzle today. <laughs> This is how much I got done in three hours and 45 minutes. Of course, this puzzle is supposed to last you a really, really long time. It is pretty difficult, I would have to say. I thought it would be way further than I am right now on the puzzle. I was just listening to music and like doing this and it was pretty fun. Okay, so I thought we would play a new game this week. Guess the song I play on the ukulele, but I have not prepared any of the songs. I just saw the name of the song and I have to just start playing it. I don't know how to play the song. It's probably gonna be all incorrect sounds and incorrect everything, but that's part of the fun. Let's see if Sean can get these. Okay, I'm gonna have you guess two. This is the first song.
<laughs> yes, correct! You got it! <laughs> okay, okay, here it goes. The second song. <laughs> no? I actually got pretty much the entire song correct. I don't know. No? That one I don't oh know. Oh my gosh. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, now we, now we can hear it. Thanks for playing, Sean. <laughs> See ya, bye. Sean was not that good at this. <laughs> Did you guys get it? This one is for you guys at home to play along. So in the comments below, write down what song you think I'm playing. And just be warned, the notes are gonna probably be all off. So you're gonna have to go by like the rhythm. What song was I trying to play? That was the first time I've ever played that song and I hit some of the notes, I'll give you that. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay, it's time for us to say goodnight, you guys. Yeah, Gatsby, it's getting late. I am exhausted. We ate so much food. Yeah, you're such a lucky corgi. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our newsletter. You can also follow us on all the social medias in the description below. Check the description below. We have lots of awesome stuff there. As I mentioned before, the puzzles will be available at corgionfleek.com sometime near the end of the month. It'll be super exciting. Okay, anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. Today, we're gonna see what Gatsby's reaction is gonna be when I eat out of his dog bowl.